PLC Network here at CES 2018. We're at the Occipital booth, and we're speaking to Jacob here, who has a new VR slash AR experience here using a 3D scanning camera. Yeah, absolutely. So uh, the Occipital Bridge is our kind of uh, primary uh, HMD that we make. Uh, so we produce the structure sensor, which is a depth sensing device. Uh, and what we've done here is mounted it to a phone-based uh, HMD enclosure and added a wide vision lens. And what this ends up giving us is a uh, mobile mixed reality uh, experience similar to the HoloLens, but for your uh, iPhone. Okay. So if you already own an iPhone, all of the processing is done locally. The headset is uh, $399, so it's under $400, which compared to a lot of the other uh, major HMDs on the market, which are on the multiple thousand range, uh, this brings it much down closer to a consumer level. It does so, indeed. Yeah. Um, so what it does is the structure sensor creates a dense 3D model of the world as you're moving the uh, headset around. And this enables uh, a lot of really great things. Um, you get the traditional tracking like you see with uh, AR Kit or AR Core, for example. Um, but what you use the uh, dense mesh for then is uh, things like occlusion, right? So when an, an object passes behind something else, because we understand the world, it actually disappears correctly. Uh, shadows, you know, going over the surface of uh, models actually uh, appear correctly, and so you get a far more uh, believable experience, essentially. So you can actually essentially walk around your entire house with this um, and map uh, it out? On a room-by-room -room basis. On a room-by-room -room basis? Yeah, exactly. Okay. So you can so. add it, uh, now can you save these uh, at all into like CAD, like some of the other uh, devices you have? Yeah, so uh, not, uh, you can't dr send it out directly to CAD with, uh, with the bridge headset, but if you yeah. have the structure sensor on an iPad, yeah, you're able to uh, scan a room uh, save the room out, uh, export it to CAD for SketchUp integration or uh, something like that. That's pretty cool. Well, let's yeah. take a look at it. Kind of, uh, maybe we can scan this area over here and see yeah. what it can do and uh, see what it looks like on camera. Sounds good. Cool. So the first thing we're going to do is uh, scan the environment. And this is the uh, process of building that uh, dense 3D model that I was talking about. So you can see as I pan the uh, bridge headset over the environment, we can see this uh, green uh, mesh appearing over everything. And that's what's going to give us uh, all of that uh, nice occlusion that we were talking about uh, earlier. So, let's hit done. And so here you can see a little uh, mixed reality uh, robot. His name is Bridget. And there's some really cool things that you can do uh, now that we have that uh, model. So I can tell her to, uh, to navigate around and uh, she'll move uh, through the environment. And you can see that when she's on the, uh, on the far side of the table, she actually gets uh, occluded by the table's edge here, for example. Um, I can throw this uh, ball into the world and it'll bounce off of something and then disappear uh, on the far side and she'll go and actually pick it up and bring it back to us. You can also do some pretty neat things like apply um, shader effects, uh, similar that to what you would find in like a video game, um, over your environment. So you can see that uh, we're able to kind of distort and manipulate, manipulate the, uh, the real world um, another thing that uh, Bridge is capable of doing is actually virtual reality as well. So here, for example, you can open up a, a portal and then just uh, step through it. And now you can see we're actually in a positionally tracked uh, virtual reality. So I can move up or down. I can move forwards or backwards. This is all running on the phone as well. Uh, so this isn't. there's no external processing for any of this. Uh, and then we can come back and back up and then close the portal, and we're uh, back here in the real world with uh, our little, uh, with our little uh, robot. Okay, so Occipital Bridge, uh, what have you, this has already been out on the market for some time now, for yeah. about four years? Uh, no, actually, uh, the structure sensor has been out for about four years. Okay. Um, but the uh, Occipital headset just launched uh, initially in December of 2016, uh, and then entered general availability in May of 2017. So it's okay. only been out on the market for uh, about nine months now. Okay, and it's about, uh, it was $399? Uh, yeah, that's for correct. For the whole package? Yeah, and it okay. uh, comes with a uh, really mature software development kit as well for uh, Unity developers and uh, native and iOS developers. There's a lot developers. of apps that uh, some of the developers have worked with you on? Yeah, uh, so there's a number of applications which have been published to the App Store, including like uh, music visualizers, kind of a Minecrafty thing. There's a really fun one that lets you um, poke bricks out of your wall and see the world that lies on the other side of your room. Nice. Yeah, exactly. We've seen that before in other demos. Yeah. <laughs> we won't mention those, though. What? Oh, it's breaking my heart. <laughs> we don't know what we're talking um, about here. Uh, but yeah, no, so, um, so and then uh, we're really excited, obviously, with the announcement of uh, ARKit because it just means uh, a lot more augmented reality content getting developed. 
and honestly one of the most immersive ways of experiencing it is in headset compared to just being on your uh, phone. Perfect. And so we're looking forward to more and more applications coming over. Cool. So they can find this on your website? Yeah, that's right. Bridge, bridge.occipital.com. There you go. Bridge.occipital.com. And uh, is it available in any other markets like Amazon, Best Buy, or anything like that? Uh, right now we're primarily selling it through our own website. So check out their website then if you want more information. And of course it goes far beyond that because it also goes into much larger scenarios as well where they're mapping out like cities and forests yeah. and much larger devices, but that's a whole nother story. <laughs> Perfect. Well, thank you so much, Jacob. Right. This is a pleasure. Yeah, cheers. If you want to stay on top of all the latest and greatest and or at least the gadgets we cover, remember to subscribe right here. Subscription button. Click it. You're going to want to. There's lots of videos, interviews, previews, all sorts of stuff. Button. Click it.